Where do you want to go? Applications, utilities, audio MIDI setup. So yours is not going to look like this the first time. Um, the first time you open this window, you need to go here, preferences, and then check this box, open only specific windows, uncheck audio devices, and uncheck network device browser. If it's checked, just leave the MIDI studio. Um, checked, close this, close that, and then open it again. It should look like this. So for people who are having like the defaulting, it should look somewhat like this. So it could be the GMS9, Rain72, anything you have, it doesn't matter. So what you want to do is remove this box and like create a new profile, like new configuration from here, name it whatever you want to name it, and then once you, you select it, make sure the red thing is not there. If the red box is below, it's fine, but ideally just don't leave it there. It might come back on reset or whatever, but it won't affect the output lighting. So s close this after that. Serato, connect your mixer. Bear with me, I'm using a MacBook Air. So, as you see, S11 hardware connecting. Um, and yeah, technically, if we load a track. So you have your coupon slide. If it doesn't work, however, um, close Serato and reopen it. And resetting your mixer or controller might help as well. Uh, once that you get this going, everything's gonna be fine. Let's try this again. Again, connecting, maybe take out the one there. And yeah. And hop. And my coupons are lining up fine, everything's working fine. Um, for people who are curious, using a one millisecond buffer. And this is my spare computer. Um, I'm doing some testing with Bixer. I'll just show you uh, current specs. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So see, nothing fancy. Looks really well. All right, that's pretty much it.